So we look again at Scott at the handball. Delbridge was the man in question. No, it's not for me. I think the decision's correct. And then it definitely is a hand. Yellow card incident for Atkinson. Does he have a case, Scott? Was it out here? So that was the aftermath where Topo Stanley believed he was fouled. Kurt Adams with plenty of work to do. Today's ref. Newcastle incredulous at the decision. And Vargas, if that is his second yellow card, he's off. Ronnie Vargas is given his marching orders. A boil over for the Venezuelan. And Scott Jamison tries to play peacemaker. What a flashpoint here. Well, what could go wrong has just gone completely wrong here. Their starting positions are fine, but you look how quickly he has to react. Has his hand actually moved? Is it an unnatural position? Not for me. And he's obviously taken the yellow card for it. It's a double hit. It's a penalty against a player sent off and such a vital player at that. Well, is it for the yellow card or for the descent? We're looking here at what transpired afterwards. Kurt Ams is... He was very quick to give the yellow card as well, so it's almost as if he's made up his decision before the players actually attack the uh, the referee. So we'll have to get to the bottom of that one. So it means it's a penalty, and it means it is Riley McGree. Lewis Italiano already faced one penalty for the Jets. He's able to save from Craig Goodwin. And how does he go against McGree? Huge moment in this match. A long delay. McGree at last on the runway and score it. City draw level. And Newcastle are left to lament the departure of their playmaker and their lead being wiped out. Well, what can you say from that, Teo? Penalty, goal, player gone. And as I said, one of your most important, fantastic penalty here. Sends the goal the wrong way, but how did Newcastle react yeah. to those so important players like Thomas Stanley? And Nigel Bogart really going to have to lift this team because they're definitely still in it, and uh, and they mustn't look that like as that as a negative for certain. The way we speak about it, you lose a player, and it's all about that discipline and that structure. And unfortunately, they've been able to hold out to half time to get that message across and possibly recover. Just as that goal went in, or just previous, I was thinking about okay, Newcastle. Your point of difference now is about keeping the ball in front of everything in front of you and being safe. And at that point, Luke Grant pulls the trigger and puts it in the corner. So. Uh, even though it was possibly good defending, the outcome it was just down to one place quality. And two of the scorers from Newcastle's last visit to Amy Park have repeated the dose. Key pass across the box, very unfortunate. Not for Lockie Wales to get across top of Stanley there as well, but very ever hacking half and play with the ball. Otherwise, this is going to be such a familiar pattern as we spoke about. Harrison Delbridge has never scored in the A-League. Retention in that key area there and then progressively getting up the field is going to be vitally important. The, league, the question is, is it a foul? Well, here comes the replay here and you think of it, it's just players together or an actual kick. Well, it's hard to see with the shadow on the pitch here on our replay. However, if there was one play you'd want that to drop to, it would be Dimi Petratos of the Newcastle Jets. Peter's in this role here. He's looking for the touch. Once he gets it, he's going over. Well, we've just seen the replay here, and we're just actually viewing it live. So I actually thought the ball would have gone over the line, considering the goalkeeper was so deep into that area. He's done magnificently, but it hasn't. If it's a corner and not a foul, is it over the line for a goal? Well, as I said, my first instinct is that it is and must be over the line. Right there. Uh, maybe potentially not unfortunately, but we don't have the goal line technology as you see in the Premier League there. But uh, I think obviously enough was we need to maintain possession for longer periods of time which will sustain our energy we'll clip to the back post here very dangerous situation defender deals with it very well us from atkinson in behind uses his pace and power great awareness of where the players are arriving on the edge of the box Guard into the mixer and then hoffman denied by a deflection a good hustle against the byline from bacchus Looks a bit innocuous, I'm not unsure. Looks like an upper body injury, a bit of a, a winded situation there. 
Getting another look at the most recent corner effort. And that is not a deflection. It's a save from Eugene Galekovic. Well, he's the Schenkeveld confrontation. Neither of them have turned to the bench. Yeah, well, I was actually just looking uh, behind the goal to see which... A lot of players all shouting at each other. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Who is going to get booked out of this one, though? Well, it looks busy down there, but what's... Here's another look at Delbridge. The channel was open for him. He hooked it well wide. And so now, take another look. Luke Bratton makes way. And Scott, even though that was in the first half, it has stood the test of time to the 81st minute. That's to watch. Speed on the outside of the fullback there. Katrumba's no hope whatsoever, but in the final, this effort finds that last pitch tackle. Something else is the yellow for Lachlan Jackson. The late contact on Scott Jamison. Barely had to nudge him to send him to the turf. And no chance that was a foul one that was, was released alongside a Donovan in that second half to release and play higher up. Was that a touch? I'm going to conform with my initial decision there, Taylor. And backspin off the fist. McGree! Off the inside of the post! It does not get much closer than that. And City need to switch back on because there is still a minute of stoppage to go. A grandstand finish. That's actually, oh, here we go. Here's the replay here. Off the inside of the post. So unfortunate. What fortunate luck Newcastle have got there. Just look up, back on the booking here of Nigel Bogart. I'm actually looking at that thinking it was a good foul or a good, uh, a good tackle to begin with, let alone a foul. Seems to agree.